What's good, y'all? Welcome to episode of the Gen TV podcast. As always, your boy Ease. Hey, hey, wonder sauce guy. And uh, before we get into our drink today, I definitely just want to touch on something that I saw on social media. I think you saw it too. Yeah. Um, it's a picture in the back. I don't know how well y'all can see it when y'all watch the episode, but it's pretty much if you see a tissue. This is mostly like for women, obviously for men too, but for anybody. But I guess if you see a tissue like in your door handle, do not touch it. I guess it's like. People are going around like lacing it with some type of like chemical that like pretty much knocks you out just on yeah. contact. You feel me? So if you see a tissue on your door handle, just avoid it. Don't touch it. Like use a stick or something like that. Call the police. I think they're using it as like a like a way to like knock drug out women or drug yeah. women for like sex trafficking, right. which is like crazy. Up. Like it's crazy because I actually saw a video of like somebody that grabbed it with like their nails. And they still oh, yeah, had that's an the one issue. saw. Yeah, and she went to she went to the ER, she right? Went to like, the ER she just barely it. touched barely it. touched it. Yeah, but it's crazy that like they come up with new ways for everything. You know, like it's, it's crazy that women each I even have to think about shit like this. You know, and worry scary, about like, yeah, worry about what somebody possibly like. It could be a kid playing a prank, you know, and like they actually got to think that like their life is on is in danger. You know? I mean, uh, it's, it's tough. Yo, it's tough being a woman, bro. Yeah, it's tough being a woman. Like, There's definitely like a lot that. more, a uh, lot more. Like there's like those are concerns like i don't think about. I, don't, <laughs> right. I don't think nobody is like wants to sex traffic me <laughs> uh, i don't know man you're, you're a handsome guy i might want to take you all right <laughs> all right so um before we get into the real part episode um mm-hmm. let's try today's let's try beer you um pick up by it? a1 fuzzy fuzzy baby ducks fuzzy baby ducks indian pale ale let's see Put on myself per usual, like, could never yeah, keep anything good, bro. Yeah, you go. One thing about you, you gonna fuck a shirt up all the time <laughs> without fail. Uh, I ain't feeling it. <laughs> you know, crazy thing is, the moment I tasted it, I was like, You're not gonna like it because you don't like the too hoppy. Yeah, it's definitely hoppy. Yeah, shit, it's but, hoppy as fuck. Well. Uh, it's like a solid five, five out of ten. Actually, they all taste about the same, but I feel like this one has a little bit more flavor. I've been giving them sixes, I'm gonna say. 6.5 7 6.57 yeah it's just about I think the next episode we gotta revisit two juicy or, or just two roads we gotta bring, yeah. we gotta bring the OGs back man. Like, <laughs> the OG the IPA classic favorites <laughs> alright man so on to our next topic the big thing that happened over this weekend <laughs> um Bad Bunny kissed the man well he kissed the girl mm-hmm. and then kissed turn the around and kissed the guy after and then turn and turn around and kiss the guy. What are your thoughts? How are we feeling? What's social media you know, thinking? It's crazy that like in 2022, it's still surprising that like this has this much shock value to the world. Like, I don't know. I feel like by now we will just be like, eh, all right. You know, like but to me, that is that wasn't eh, all right. Like I, really? I wasn't like I wasn't really affected by it. Like I wasn't mm-hmm. distraught. Like I wasn't offended. It was just like, all right, like guess this nigga's gay now. <laughs> it's just whatever like or bisexual right. but like i've definitely um i've definitely seen a lot of reactions from men and women um, yeah. like a lot of mixed reactions like what, what have you been seeing <laughs> pretty much the same thing like a bunch of seems like the, the spanish mommies out here are really heartbroken by this and they're they're really upset but then a lot of guys are saying that they saw it coming from a long way like i'm not a big bad bunny follower i mean i know the name like yeah. i know a couple of his songs but like I don't really follow him like that, but I faintly I think he's remember. Like, yo, I think he's Bad Bunny is like the Puerto Ricans Drake. Right. <laughs> I think that's like that's who they are to them. Like he's got that type of impact in like the Spanish Hispanic community. Yeah, I watched a couple of interviews with him like a couple years like last year, and it seems like an interesting new, like a cool guy. Mm. Something I feel like I faintly remember, like during like my research of who he is, like back then, I feel like I faintly remember somebody saying or him saying that he was bisexual or something like that. Okay. So when I saw this, it was like, damn, like he did that shit live. But then it was like, it wasn't like a, oh, wow, this thing is like bisexual. Like, I didn't really see that coming. Yeah. Like, you know? yeah. I feel like yo, if I ever saw like Jay-Z do the type of shit, I'd be like, oh, okay. okay <laughs> right. Like, this is some, this is shocking. This is shocking. <laughs> right, 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 right. But like, yeah, I think with Bad Bunny, like it was like, all right, whatever. Like, this is just some shit that like is kind of out of the blue I mean, did you see I, it coming or no what did you see it coming with him like do you did you feel like he was like gay before or no not yo it's kind of hard to say like with a lot of these celebrities like whether they're gay or not because a lot of them um you know like they're so 
fluid. You know what I'm saying? They right. go, they they dip back. Yo, they keep they, yo, they tread the line real a lot. Yo, but yo, know? like they keep us guessing mm-hmm. a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but like a lot of um, I was reading this article that said like they're like they think he's queer baiting, which I didn't even know what the term was. So okay. for other people that don't know what the term queer baiting is, it's like when mostly famous people kind of do like semi homosexual activities or like lead on to it that they p- could potentially be gay or bisexual to kind of win over the gay community. Right. But like the whole time they're really just straight, but they're just using it as like a marketing tactic to like appeal to like the gay audience. You know who did something gay? I don't know if you know him, but Azuna. I do. I've heard of the name. The, 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 the yeah. Minute, dude. Yeah. yeah. He was in a, like a, a fucking gay porn scene at one point in time. I heard, but I heard that wasn't actually him. I heard I it s- was actually it was actually him. See, I heard otherwise. Really? Yeah, I heard otherwise. I could have sworn that was really him that was in the gay uh, scene. And it- did you watch it? No, I didn't watch yeah. it. <laughs> no, I didn't watch it. Okay. No, I didn't watch it. But I did. I, I, because crazy thing is, I had to think about it because I do look up whenever like celebrity shit does happen. Like I tend to look it up, so I had to like okay. fucking go back and was like, nah, I didn't watch that. But I could have sworn it was it was that motherfucker. Like could have been. Yo, I haven't really heard of him in a while. Yo, you know what's kind of funny about this shit to me though is like. I can understand why women are would be upset that like they saw Bad Bunny kiss a guy because it's like all right like I don't know I could I could just see you know what I'm saying yeah. like, damn like he's not like fully straight like I like right. my, maybe my chances of fucking him aren't that like that good yeah but yo I think a guy getting upset and him like kissing a dude is kind of funny to me because like yo what, like what's wrong bro like, <laughs> did you, like, would, do you wish it was you like like why are you upset I don't know like, like I mean if even if they wish it was him now the opportunity is solidified now you have an opportunity for this shit, I know but know? it's like I think um sometimes like people get mad like over like gay stuff and it's like yo what, why why are you really mad you know what it is. It's kind of like the conversation we had in the past. It's just like you thought you knew somebody, and then yeah. like you know they they do some shit to surprise you. Like if Drake was Drake is my favorite artist. If he was to kiss a nigga, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like I can't. Even though I fully support p- gay people, I got gay friends. It's just like what the fuck, bro? Like you just, you gonna do this to me? <laughs> like like I, I thought we knew each other. Like, <laughs> exactly. I thought you was my nigga. Like you know, like, I really I don't know. You know, what I also thought it was funny, yo. Is like um a lot of the gay dudes on my like social media we're mm-hmm. happy as shit because like oh yes like <laughs> i do have a chance like <laughs> like i might i might really be up there with this dude i don't know it's wild it's crazy like i said in 2022 it's crazy that like we even have this much of a shock maybe it's like we're so desensitized from it at this point like it's just like you know at this point it's just like it is what it is like we're not really like which is good and it's bad you know like because obviously you know depending on moral beliefs and religious beliefs you know like it could either teeter yeah. whether fuck, it's like fuck it. fuck <laughs> whether it's good or bad, you know. But like, I think at this point we're so desensitized from it. But it's almost as if like it's becoming more prevalent these days, you know. Like we're seeing it more and more often. Like we see these things happening. Like it was him. It's Little Don X. We see fucking um, Young, Young Thug, Thug. and then like a dress and shit. And then it's also now it's coming out in like the media on the media side of things as well like we're seeing it in the movies and tv shows and kid shows like yeah you know so like maybe i don't know some people speculate that there's like an agenda that that is happening like to like, kind of like you know push homosexuality to like just amongst everybody you know like kind of oh. push a homosexuality agenda to and especially to kids to you know so open up that door for that's them. a that's a good point so I think one reason this whole situation um, didn't really bother me is because it happened at the VMAs. Okay. You feel me? Like, so the fact that it happened in a, like an award show for adults doesn't bother me. I, I don't mind seeing like gay stuff in adult shows, adult movies and stuff like that. Right. What does bother me? And I, I, I'm actually very torn about my opinion on this because sometimes I'm like, yo, like am i homophobic like does this like make me homophobic because like if this if bad bunny had kissed a man during like say the nickelodeon's kid choice awards right Right. like which is something like my son would watch that would have bothered me like i do not want my son watching that right why is that then it's like that's i don't honestly because i think um i think it's impressionable i think people think like all right like I, i think people say like well you know you can't force someone to be gay i disagree with that 
I think right? it's conditional. Yeah. I think you can yeah. condition someone to be gay. I think especially like a very impressionable, like impersonable, like young man or girl, right? Like a kid in like their early ages of life. I think if they see something enough, right, they can definitely be influenced to do it. Yo, I think it's like, all right. You don't, yo, yo, there's a reason people don't let their kids watch violent movies, right? Right. Because like what? They're afraid it's going to make them violent. violent right? when it's they probably get older, been yeah. studies or something that's shown that like, all right, if you watch violent movies, you're most likely to become violent or have violent tendencies, right? There's actually studies saying violent video games cause kids to be violent. Exactly. You know? right? yo, like you, yo, you believe like that those type of video games could like have an, an impression on your kid, right? Yeah. Yo, there's a reason like why there isn't like, you don't see commercials for cigarettes, right? No. Anymore, right? Because if they did, right, that could probably influence a kid to go smoke cigarettes, right? Right. You don't even really see like that much. You don't like in a kid's channel, right? You don't see like liquor commercials, right? They're very selective about what they show to kids, right? Because they're like, they don't want these kids to pick up these habits, right? So why is it with like homosexuality, they don't believe that? Like that's where like this logic ends because it's like, all right, yeah, we don't want to like, you know, put these on, put this on kids because like, or I know that like they'll be drawn to it, right? But like, yeah. We could put on like, you know, gay scenes in a cartoon, right? I remember the first time I, I, so the, yo, it's funny. The first time I ever saw a gay person or so, like, or something hinting at like something, homosexuality, homosexuality right. right? At, in a cartoon or anime was, and this, I wasn't even, my son wasn't watching the show with me. Mm-hmm. It was this show called, um, Legend of Korra. It was like an Avatar show. Okay. Know, yeah, you yeah, watched yeah. Avatar last year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the, the following. The sequel to that. The sequel to it, right? Yeah. I remember it was like on the season finale where it was two girls and they kind of like hugged each other. Like they didn't kiss and it kind of just like. <laughs> you felt it. You felt it. Nah, no, but like you. Yeah. And I was like, yo, like that's odd. You're right. And I felt really funny watching it. And I and I remember thinking about like, yeah, I'm like, yo, why is this bothering me? Like I cannot put my thumb on it. And, I, and to this day, I don't know. Like, yo. Excuse me. Like, I don't know. Yo, is me not wanting like gay scenes and like in my kids cartoons or movies like make me homophobic i don't know right i don't think like i don't consider myself to be homophobic right like you know what it is i feel like we we're kind of caught in a weird era you know like we're kind of caught in the era of homosexual being deemed as something wrong and homosexuality being kind of being okay as well so like obviously like growing up like being gay was like you know very taboo very, very, very taboo you know you couldn't really be, even to be called gay was offensive you know like somebody right, called you gay words, like, like, yo, you, like yeah like that was a that was an opportunity for you and, or not even an opportunity but that gave you that aggravated you enough to like fight somebody yeah so i feel like right now like especially our people in our generation like we're in we're in a weird space you know where a lot of things that were once deemed as being inappropriate or bad is now being deemed as being okay and good and the i feel norm. like it's like the new norm right so i feel like it's kind of like a battle between that you know i feel like it's like within ourselves we and i'm I'm gonna keep it honest like i i feel like within ourselves we know it's wrong but we almost have to fit to like society standard of it being right you hmm. know i i don't i don't agree with that okay so i i, I don't I don't know that it's wrong. Like I don't, I don't disagree with homosexuality. Like I, like I feel like if that's what you're into, that is what right. you're into. Like I, it, th- I know like there are like pe- like people that are like truly homophobic. Like it just bothers them. Yeah, like, they're yeah, like yeah. sitting at home right, just right. being bothered by the thought that there's two dudes out there butt fucking each other. You feel right. me? Like I don't think about it until I see it, right? And I do understand the importance of inclusion, right? And like in. Like, obviously, like, you want to feel included. Like, you know, if that's, like, what you are, if you're gay, right, you you want to watch things that, like, have you in it, right? Like, yeah. it's a representation of you, right? right? But, so I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't mind it when I see it in, like, adult cartoons or, or, or adult animes or movies and stuff like that. But it does bother me when I see it in my, my son's shows because it's like, yo, I feel like it could, because, yo, my son's asked me. Yeah. Like, We've watched this show. We watched this movie called this, this Marvel movie Eternals, yeah. right? And in the movie, ironically, it's the black guy that's fucking gay, right? <laughs> right. Which like t- that's a whole another thing to me, yeah, like, yeah. like a whole conspiracy yeah. theory, like <laughs> right, right, that right. we could get into that shit because it's like out of all the characters that you could have made gay, in this, you made the black, the like only out of black the twelve, guy. out of right. the twelve superheroes, like 
you pick the random ba- black guy, right? Which is like, yo, hey, and he's from the show Atlanta, which I fucking love. Well, he's like a thug in it. Okay. Yo, and first of all, I just want to give a big shout out to them. Cause, like, this dude's such a good actor. Because, <laughs> so like, versatile. Nah, bro. Because, like, in the f- show Atlanta, he's like a hardcore rapper thug. And, like, the shift that he did for the Eternals movies, I was like, yo, like, this is acting. Yeah. Like, this is range. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like, he's not, like, pigeonholing himself to, like, one type of, like, some, ath- some 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 act- athletes some ca- some actors are are kind of like usually stay in a pocket you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. stay in a pocket in all movies like you when you see them in a movie it's like okay i know what type of person he's gonna be yeah, you yeah. know but denzel. Or, denzel like not only denzel but this is a guy i don't even know the name off the top of my head but he was in like a, a lot of older movies older black movies like anytime you see him he was like the fucking douchebag husband that like uh, fucked over exactly, his wives exactly and shit like, like that tyler perry uses him a lot <laughs> i think so all right yo so either way right so yeah. that th- there's a part in the movie which to me like i i i, I like i said i get representation i get inclusion like yeah. you, you want you want to have you know people like you in these movies but it feels very forced like there was so there's the gig character in the movie Eternals, right? And it's just like it the story would have been fine without him being gay. Right. Like there was no need for it. You know what I'm saying? It was very random. And it was just like You think they just me, added it was just forced. It was added. Like right. it was like it's forced. I feel like that's one thing about like this gay movement, like this gay representation. It's like, all right, they're going out of their way to put it in like movies and shows where I don't think it needs to be. Right. And I think in, in some movies it's done beautifully, it's done very naturally, organic, and I don't mind that, right? But either way, right? So that happens in the movie, and my son's like, "Yo, what's that?" Like, yeah. I'm like, "All right, I'm like, what? I'm like, we'll talk about it later." <laughs> nah, because bro, <laughs> right. he's like, because like he's just like, "Yo, like that's weird." Like I don't, because yeah. yo, he's like, because he's used to seeing you know me and his mom kiss. Right. My all, I'm saying most of my friends are straight, right? Right. Like with the, I got a couple gay friends, but like. But, like, my son's used to men and women kissing. So, when he saw that, he's just like, yo, what's up with that shit? Yeah. And, uh, yo, and it would kind of put me in an awkward situation. But, yo, maybe it's like, if I am if I look at it in an optimistic way, like, all right, maybe it's like a, it gave me a good opportunity to have, gotcha. that, have, to have conversation that conversation with them, right? Yeah. But I just feel like it just, he's, I mean, he's eight. I guess you can consider that old enough or not. Like, it's up to you. I mean, to be honest with you, like, I feel like... <laughs> If you don't have these conversations with your kids, like somebody's gonna teach them, like whether it be TV, whether it be their friends at school, whether it be you know a random stranger, like they're gonna learn what they want to learn regardless, yeah. you know. And especially with in today's day and age, right? like they have that they have access to the internet in the palm of their hands, you know. Like they're gonna be they're gonna. What, what do you think is preventing your kid from Google googling? Like what homosexuality the ch- the is, child, what the child locks we put on. <laughs> well, yeah, that yeah. too, that. But like you know, like they they have access to it. Like even when they have conversations with their friends over the games and shit like that, they're gonna be you know questioning certain things and saying certain things that they really don't know the true meaning behind. So that's why I'm an advocate for having these conversations with kids pretty early about like sexuality, homo- uh, homosexuality, so, yeah, what are, sexuality. So what are your thoughts on like um cartoons like having these my thing is is that to go to so you said you didn't really deem homosexual let's start with you said you didn't really deem homosexuality as being wrong right yeah so i really i think deep down you you do you do have an issue with it okay because the reason my reason my thought process behind that is because you kind of classed it in the same category as cigarettes, which we deem as being a negative no i I, like as far as like the impression that like people talk about that these things could have on kids right right so I, yeah but right so you class it you class it with that but and then um they because these things have obviously a negative impression now we don't really we don't get the same uproar we don't have the same anger or the same we don't give it the same energy when it's a heterosexual couple kissing you know, like obviously a full, full blatant sex scene and like a kid yeah, movie like, is, yo, I would, is I would, a little excessive yeah, I would like, right i guess to me personally right like if if i saw like something that inappropriate even with a heterosexual couple in yeah. a kids cartoon like i i don't want my son seeing that right yeah. like i guess like to me i just want just the man and woman kissing like as far like as far as it would go right but that's what i'm saying like that's why i'm saying that there's a difference like where you deem one as being okay and one is not being okay because like if a man it's something as simple as a kiss whether it be between two guys and two women at bare minimum it's a kiss you know it's the same it's the same general action however one is just with the with a different sex compared to the other one and that's why i'm saying like you know you you value one one values more one 
upsets you more or, or ignites something inside of you a little bit more than the other. And it's not to say like, you know, personally for me, like I said, I'm, I'm okay with saying that, you know, one is right, one is wrong, but I feel like obviously mine's came from like religious standpoints and, um, you know, certain upbringings. Whereas like, you know, in today's day and age, it's almost politically correct to be okay with like homosexuality. Yo, but, and that's where I kind of like, I get the point you're trying to say, right. but to me, it's like, I, I feel like it's fu- cause I don't hate watching it myself. Yeah. I think it's just, to me, it's just like, it's just the confusion por- like portion for my son that kind of like that I dislike, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but even just, with just, the, just the, because like, he's just. I've never like told my son to be straight, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I guess he's just it's like nature versus nurture, right? Like he's picking up certain like things by watching how me and his mom or my parents or you, yeah. you know, like how like people around him like interact with the opposite sex, right? Yeah. So it's like when he sees something that's out of it, like a little different, right? It's like and now he it's confusing to him, right? I guess that's what's upsetting to me cuz like I don't want him to be confused. And obviously, as a parent, like, it's my job to kind of, like, help him understand what it is. You're right. But it's like, I just don't want to do it just yet. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'd rather his brain develop a little more so he can, like, he has just a better understanding of life and how things are before, like, we have certain talks. And I don't think, like, there's anything wrong with that. I think there's just, like, there's just an age for, like, I think, would you agree? I think there's just ages for certain things. Absolutely. I think there's definitely age limits for certain things. I my my The reason... Maybe. Like, I don't even want to have, like, a sex conversation with them until he's, right. like, 14. Like, I'm, I'm saying, like, those balls drop. But even like, then, I don't think, I think that's too late, you know? Like, when I was younger, like, I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing at 8 years old, you mm-hmm. know? Like, and 9 years old and 10 years old, you know? And the reason why I was doing those things was because, like, I learned them from friends. And, like, my yeah. friends are talking about them. These are things that I'm seeing in, like, movies and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm thinking, like, okay, like. This is just the right thing to do. This is what boys and little boys and little girls do. You know, does that make it right? No. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, for me personally, I have no kids. So it's a lot easier for me to say what I will do versus like, you know, what I actually am doing. But like, I would like to have these conversations with my kids earlier to kind of like, I want to be the first impression in their mind and let them know like, okay, this is what, my point this though, is right? what like, is. Yo, you want to be isn't. the first impression, right? Like you don't want to kick like just. No, not, not about, not about sexuality. No, I'm, just, I'm just saying in yeah. general, right? But you don't want to get like blindsided like watching like a <laughs> like a innocent cartoon type shit it's like, like all right like i guess we gotta have the conversation now right. like you know what i'm saying that's what was just like oh like it was just i was just unprepared for like what was happening like that's what i guess i guess what you mean but like i said i feel like if it was two males or two went to a guy and a woman it wouldn't have had the same impact you yeah, know because he didn't question me about it like right. he's he's seen that right so he never questioned me about it right because now he questioned me about because he saw something he never saw before. Yeah, and that's like that's what kind of blindsided me because like I didn't think that was gonna be in the movie. And then <laughs> right, it turned out to be. Yeah, but I don't know. You said like it was because of him, but then you also did mention that with the Legend of Korra, you also felt some type of way about like the scene. Well, that no, had I thought that's the way because I like I never actually saw something like that. Like that okay. was the first. And I want to actually, I want to say I think that was actually the first time it's actually ever been done. Like oh, really, in a cartoon like, like okay, in a, I think. Like, I, I could be wrong on this, but I think it was actually the first time. Like, I think with anything that's first time, like, it was just kind of like, like, I wasn't offended by it. Like, I was, just, I was I was watching it by myself, but I was just like, I was just like, damn, that was just like, to me, it was just like such a bold thing to do. That's what caught me. It wasn't like, I was like, I mean, I still like the show. Like, it didn't change, like, my view on it. But I was like, bro, like, damn, like, that's some out of the box shit. Right. Like, if, like, if you watch a movie and they just do some shit, you're like, whoa. Like, <laughs> I wasn't expecting yeah, that, you know? Like, yeah. You know, I don't know. Like. Like I said, to kind of, like, you know, explain my side of things a little bit, like, you know, I don't, like I said, I grew up with homosexuality being not, like, it's being a kind of like a taboo, a wrong thing, like, you know, especially being, like, in a religious, growing up pretty religious. I kind of, as I got older, like, I got to the point where I feel like I started looking at things at the core, you know, like, okay, it's two two people that have feelings for each other, and at baseline, they may love each other, you know, like, Who am I to judge that person based off of that? Like, do I think it's wrong? Yes. Do I think obviously scientifically they, they, it's not, it's not supposed to happen. Yes. Like, I don't think like two men can't procreate, two women can't procreate solely by themselves. Like, obviously there's ways to get it to happen outside of that, but like solely by themselves, they can't procreate. So clearly science or nature is telling us that 
It's just not supposed to happen on a larger scale, like to for our human survival. It's not supposed to happen. But like, nonetheless, like I said, at the end of the day, like, you know, I have my own fucking shit I got to deal with. So like, it's like, who am I to judge somebody else on like their life and yeah. their lifestyle, you know? And it's, that's the reason why, like with my, my, my gay friends, I tend to ask them questions because it intrigues me, you know, like the questions that weren't answered for me when I was eight and nine years old, I, I still have them as an adult at 29 years old, you know, like I'm still having these questions and I, I don't understand how, how it works. Like break down the attraction to me, like to another male and shit like that. These are the conversations I'm having with like my gay friends because like, I don't get it, you know? So I feel like nonetheless, like I said, I feel like there is a right and wrong. And, but I feel like nonetheless, like people have an opportunity to make their own choices, you know, at the end of the day, I, I feel like there's no reason why they should be hindered in any way from, you know, living their lifestyle. Like, we see Bad Bunny and fucking Lil Nas X is what they're kind of promoting that these days. Yeah. But like, I also do feel though that on the flip side, I do feel like there's an agenda like that is happening these days to like kind of push homosexuality a little bit harder on not only on children, but just in general, especially on men specifically. Yeah, but I feel like push is a strong word. Right. Because it's like, yo, are they really pushing or are they like looking for representation, right? Like, cause I feel like you got to definitely differentiate between the two. Pushing to me is like how I described the movie Eternals, right? Where like it was just, it was a random scene. Like it served the movie no purpose to add a gay character, right? right. To me, that's a push because it's like you're just sprinkling it in there just for the sake of it, right? Right. Like, that to me, you could argue. And, you know, and someone else could watch the movie and interpret it a different way. That's just my interpretation, right? So, like, but, like, I think there's, like, definitely movies where it's been done, like, more tastefully. And, I like, and it, it don't even notice it, right? Like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, there's just two gay people there. Like, but it's, like, it doesn't, like, alarm anything. It's, yeah, just, yeah, it's yeah. just, it makes sense for the movie to have that, right? right? So, to me, it's, like, you know, when you say push, are you sure it's really pushing? that you're seeing or are you just seeing like a more like re- representation like you're just actually seeing it more right it's almost like you know like when they say like when you're like um when you like buy a car like you start seeing, <laughs> you start that, car seeing that car everywhere more it's often. like all right like like but those cars have been there the whole right. time right but you just never really look now i would really say i honestly i think it's a now I, I do see where people are coming out and feeling like they're more empowered these days to actually like you know, speak up about their true sexuality. Whereas before, like a lot of people had to kind of mask who they were yeah. to fit society standards. I do believe in that, but I do think there's also like an agenda that's being pushed to push homosexuality on males specifically to kind of feminize them. Like we see, whereas, Wait, so, but like, do you think they're like, I think there's a difference there. Okay. Like, are like, they're pushing us to be gay. Or are they just pushing us to be more feminine? I think it's a little bit of both. Like it meshes together, you know, like pushing us to be gay makes us more, not to say like, gay guys can't be masculine but like they tend to be more feminine more flamboyant you know and i think obviously we hear masculinity masculinity these days get like a negative connotation with it like we are about toxic masculinity and like Mm. we are about all these other terms that kind of gives that shows that like you know being masculine is like almost as if it's something wrong you know and whereas it's not wrong just like how feminine feminine but feminism isn't wrong like masculinity isn't wrong but we hear like when a guy is being living in his masculine energy he's being controlling he's being dominant too dominant he's being like an asshole and all these things and i feel like you know kind of to reiterate i think like we see where women empowerment and feminism where where feminism was supposed to be for women empowerment it's also it's becoming to be more fed by feminized it's kind of what's the word i'm looking for It's like feminism is instead of it going towards empowering women is leaning towards more demasculating men or emasculating men. Yo, but is it, is it really, or is it just like, are we as men feeling more threatened because like women are becoming more empowered? You know what I mean? Like, that's a good question. Like, are, are we really being pushed to be more feminine just because they're becoming more masculine? It's almost like, yo, if you have like a little brother that she's right. like, that you've always been taller and stronger than, mm-hmm. and like now all of a sudden, like he just gets a growth spurt and they're like, like, damn, am I getting shorter? No, like you're just, you're the, you're still who you are, but now like he's just caught up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, are you we know, really becoming less masculine or are they, are just, are women becoming more masculine? And it just, and then like the gap, like in masculinity has just closed so much 
where it seems like it ours went down, but in reality it didn't. It just like now it's just more even. I really think it's like the the masculinity that they're pushing for masculinity to go to pretty much meant to become less masculine. Like I feel like what we're seeing is a lot of men becoming like more flamboyant. They're also a lot of women are pushing flamboyancy in men, are calling out men for being flamboyant. Like we see where the what? first thing the first the first the first insult like you hear from a woman is like oh that's little dick energy or that's that's real that's real girly of you for you for you to be doing some shit like that and it's yeah, like yeah. is it really is it really girly or is that really little dick energy it's just like or is it just something that you don't agree with you know like well it, it's so it's funny what you're talking about right because right now i feel like there's two groups of women in the world right good right. there's these very progressive, very assertive, dominant, you know, pro-feminist women. Right. And then there's these other women who are a little more traditional. They kind of like how things were back in the day, you know, minus a couple of things, right? So, like, we got these women on the left, right, who are like, yo, they're trying to, like, demonize men, right? Like, they're trying to, like, demonize masculinity, like, toxic. It's like anything real pro man is like toxic masculinity absolutely right? yo and now you have these other women on the right where like yo like what's they're complaining right because it's like all right you're you're this guy in the middle right it's like all right let me listen to these women because obviously as a man you want women like it's yeah. like it's a desire in you like you you want to put your dick in something right absolutely you need a little little warm oven to put it in right <laughs> so it's like all right let me listen to these women all right like damn if I'm too masculine, okay, that's bad. Okay, let me tone it down. Let me be, become a little more feminine. Let me touch with my my inner women, all that shit, right? But then it's like, okay, you listen to these women on the right. It's like, what, yo, what's wrong with I you? I want like, men you, to be men. Yeah, I, I want, want men to be men. Like, right. what are you doing? Like, I want you to be more assertive, aggressive. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. as a man, like, we're in, like, in the most confusing era ever because, like, we got two sides of women. It's like, one side wants us to be more masculine. The other one wants us to be, us to be more feminine. It's like, and as a man, it's like, yo, what do I do? Like, I don't know. Right. And to speaking on that kind of topic, so let, that brings us to our last topic for tonight, and that's um our boy, um the top G himself, right? <laughs> um, so before we get really into, it, let's just talk about. So obviously, um Andrew Tate just got banned off the internet, right? right? Like, not banned off Instagram, not banned off TikTok, not banned off YouTube, not like, suspended like, accounts. Like, like this guy got banned off the internet right and to me the wildest thing about it is these are all separate companies right like it kind of makes sense to me like all right if you got banned from instagram like that's whatever then you still have tiktok and all this other shit right like so to me it's like this guy for whatever reason right was such a problem that all these major players got together and made one decision like together group like a group right and these companies like compete against each other right they're right. not really friends you know what I'm saying like and they all got together it's like yo we got to get rid of andrew tate to me it's like all right what is this guy doing that is so bad that like every platform got together to get rid of him right and but one of the we... main things he promotes mm-hmm. is masculinity right which is Absolutely. like your point like are they really trying to like are they having an attack on masculinity and when somebody like andrew tate who, that's kind of what he promotes. I mean, he does he does have other like negatives to him, right? We could talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Gets permanently banned like that kind of proves your point, right? Because it's like, yo, what was he really doing like to deserve this? To deserve that. I feel like we, we live in a world where we want to coddle people's opinions and coddle people's feelings. And uh-huh. I f- my, from my understanding, you know, kind of... Con- he was an extreme Kevin Samuels to a sense. Like, you know, like he had shared... Had the same had the same destination but his world was like fucking he was traveling at 100 miles an hour like he was not he was not sugarcoating shit at all you know for yo it's kind of funny it's like yo they thought kevin was bad <laughs> like, yeah, like y'all thought kevin was insane <laughs> like like his re- his replacement was three times worse <laughs> yo yo which makes me think like yo it's just as it's, it's just you know escalating you yeah, like yo it started with the fresh and fit podcast it started with kevin samuels Andrew Tate, like the fucking next guy is gonna be a caveman, like a, a straight up caveman, bro. Like he's just gonna grunt. <laughs> but this is what we're seeing, where like you know, men are actually coming out and speaking about speaking out against kind of like like I said, this agenda to like you know feminize men, and 
where we actually seeing where these big companies are just like trying to trying to mute this person you know yeah. it's almost like like it's almost like promoting masculinity is being deemed as as um misogyny and it's like just because i i promote masculinity that doesn't mean i hate women just because i want men to be men doesn't mean i hate women that's the equivalent of saying that you know just because you promote feminism that means that you hate men this is like it does it doesn't really make sense it's almost like we we get upset whenever um whenever we talk about the whole black lives matter thing it's like just because we say black lives matter doesn't mean that the rest of y'all don't okay. matter yeah. it's just like currently right now ours need attention so we want our lives to matter you know that's a good point and it's like we people get upset about it and obviously his approach is for entertainment purposes and to you know get the appeal of people so he comes out a really aggressive and purposely. a lot of times yeah purposely. purposely and as a lot of times it, you know obviously if you fall into that category of woman it can seem as if he's like bashing you but it doesn't really does necessarily him speaking about a certain class of woman or his dislike in a specific woman makes it that he hates women or he hates you i don't think really think so it's just you're not his cup of tea you know like so to get a little more um into him right specifically so one thing i think we as a society need to stop doing is yo we need to stop judging people off 10 second clips you feel me and I've and I've been guilty of it, right? Like you just never, yo. You just watch a a couple clips of somebody on TikTok or Instagram, might and like, and you just you summarize them, right? Like, all right, yeah. they're either like this great person or they're this evil person, right? And just like with Kevin Samuels, like I did the same thing with Andrew Tate, right? I seen a couple clips, and I, they weren't really for me, so I ne I didn't pay him no mind, right? And but I I but I never really went out and like watched four episodes, did my full research on him, right? And I think that's what most people do. Like they watch a couple of Andrew Tate clips, and I feel like if if you don't, if they're not for you, then this guy's just like the biggest dickhead. Yeah. Yo, because like clips are clickbait. Yeah, they're meant to get you riled up. I'm saying like they're they cut the episode in like the craziest way to get the biggest reaction out of you, right? Right. But when you go and actually watch the full episode, it's a very different like. Ep it's, it's, it's a lot different than you think right yeah it's like almost like tone you know like yeah. uh, text messages like you could text something to somebody and 10 different people and they're all going to perceive it a different way exactly. whereas like you know if you have some backstory behind it you know you kind of could be able to see right. okay well it, 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 he didn't mean it like that so you, you weren't you weren't like a big andrew tate fan right no nah, not really so me neither right so prior to him getting banned i actually never watched any of his real content like i said i watched a couple clips thought they're entertaining yeah. but never really paid in no mind i just feel like it's not really like that applicable to me because it's like yo but maybe i feel like that right because i'm already like the type of guy that he's kind of talking about right? okay so i went and actually watched um a couple hours of his actual content right and it's a little different than i thought it was going to be but it was kind of on par with the clips i saw right like so i watched the episode that you sent me with him like on the date with the girl yeah and I watched his final message. Mm -hmm. And what I basically got out of his um, content from what I saw is he's actually not as bad of a guy that, you know, social media kind of makes him out to be. Right. Um, and but I'm not, he's not that great of a guy either. I think he's definitely interesting. I think there's a reason he's the most Googled man on earth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that didn't happen by accident. I think he's very strategic. I think he's very well-spoken. And I think like when you're actually like a, a strong dominant guy like that, you're bound to captivate like younger men who kind of like need guidance. Yeah. And I think that's why like for kind of guys our age, I think we've got a little more figured out. And that's why like we don't really like, you know, seek out content like that. Right. Like it's entertaining for us to watch like, you know, while we're scrolling. But I feel like, yo, the 21 year old version of me, might have really related to um to Andrew Tate, especially and not only I don't even think it's a year thing. I think I think it's an experience also. You know, they mm. you can have like people that are older, younger, same yeah. age as us that just don't have the same experiences that we have. You know, and it's like kind of looking for some advice, kind of looking for some guidance. Want to be more masculine in a sense, and you know, gravitate to his his content a little bit more than we would. For me, when I watched it, like it's almost like. 
I want to be right there with you. Like, I want to be right there with you, upset and mad. Like, who the fuck is this guy to be, like, talking like this about, like, women and his views on certain things? But then, like, at the core of some of the things he's saying, it's like, there's some validity to it, you know? Like, but it's, yo, he's speaking facts. Yeah. yeah, like, there's some validity to it. Don't get me wrong. Like, some of his ideologies is really fucking aggressive. It's almost like... Yo, it's aggressive, but is it wrong? No, it's definitely not wrong. Like, like Yo, when... So, it's funny, right? Like... Like I said, there's like there's just two groups of women right now. There's yeah. like the ones that are very, you know, pro women, very progressive, go getters. They're obviously not gonna relate to Andrew Tate, right? No. Because like that's that's not the type of woman he wants. Mm -hmm. Yo, but then there's these other women, right, that are more traditional. They kinda want a stronger man, they kinda want a man to take lead, right? And these women, like when they describe their ideal man, they're really describing the type of man that Andrew Tate is trying to like get these men to become right so it's just like he does have like you know like he is speaking to a certain like demographic of women like that like are gonna like what he's saying right like there are women that want men like him yeah and i think it's kind of like stupid for like um people to get upset when he like speaks like yo here's one thing right and i and i, and I think of this about anybody on the internet right even the most, if someone says the most offensive thing, right, you should be fucking happy they said it because now you know. Yeah, how you they know who think. they are. You, you right. know who they are. You know how they think, right? It's not a surprise, yo, because it's like, yo, like you, you're like, you're not pro-abortion, right? Right. So it's like, as a woman, right, I think that's something a woman should know before she gets with you, right? Like, yeah. I don't think a woman should fall in love with you and yeah. then find this out about Absolutely. you, right? I think this is like, the best i think this is like the best version of things because like yo this is the most transparent. full transparency like because like, yeah. yo all right here's how i think right i think um women shouldn't like if not me personally right but like how he thinks right like yo he he thinks women shouldn't work he thinks women should just be at the house and cook and make babies and all that shit right if you're not that type of woman then you're not for that's him. perfect right <laughs> like because it's like yo you know because yo, you might find them attractive and like start fuck with them and then you find this shit out it's like oh shit like i don't like I didn't know this is who you were at your core, but yo, now you know. Like he vocally said, no. like yo, this is this but, is the kind of guy. But I am. Bro, here's the stupid shit that women do. They see that he's not the person that he wants, that they want, and still go and fuck with him, and then get upset at the fact that he's not the person that they want, and then they get on the internet and start talking shit and bashing people that are like that or have the same ideology as this person because because they have opposing views which is my thing is like i feel like we live in we're not robots you know not everybody's gonna agree on the same thing you know some people are gonna believe that certain things are okay versus some people believing that certain things are not okay there's certain views that i see on the internet from women that i don't fucking agree with does that mean that you're wrong does that mean that you're like a terrible person no like it's just like it is what it is like we don't we our views don't our views don't mesh so what am i gonna do Scroll yeah. on to the next one, you yo, know? But, but yo, I think, it, I think it makes it so much easier, right? Like, yo, if you're a woman that hates Andrew Tate's content and mm -hmm. you go through a guy's, like, Tinder fucking profile and you see that he likes Andrew Tate, that's perfect. It's <laughs> like, like, yo, now you know that's not his your guy, is. right? Like, yeah. and, yo, and if you're a man that, like, doesn't like progressive women, you like more of a traditional woman, and, like, now you see a woman, like, vocalizing, like, yo, like, I'm a, I'm a very progressive woman. Like, I, like, I think, you know this this and that and like you you don't, you don't agree with that woman's values now you know you don't have to date her to find that out like yo like yo that's like yo all the hard work is it's being cut done, out right so yo like it's like a filtration system exactly <laughs> like, a good point yeah yo so like people banning him right like or and then banning men that like think like him right like yo you're doing more damage to like the dating world because it's like yo now you gotta like blindly date instead of like knowing who you are getting with right like yo I said like yo, if you if you hate Andrew Tate, right? Like as a woman, and then you go and date a guy and like obviously when you meet someone, like that's not the real like th that's not the real them, right? Like, the like them, that's right? like their the, the, the best, best version, version of themselves, them, right? Yeah. And as you get and as you get to know him longer, like more and more, like, oh, like and you kind of find out like, oh shit, like this guy's like a fucking Andrew Tate clone. It's like <laughs> I don't want this kind of guy. Andrew damn, Tate I wish, me. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like damn, I just wasted five dates like to find this shit out. Like Right. When you could have just found that out like initially, because like he, if you just knew like this is the kind of content like the guy liked, right? But now yo, now like 
people see this shit, right? Men see this shit. It's like, damn, like, I don't want to get banned off the internet like him. So, like, I'm going to hide my, uh, I'm going to hide these thoughts. Yo, it's almost like a racist, right? Like, do you, yo, do you, do you want to, like, know who's racist or not? But the coolest thing is, is that we fucking openly accept racists on the internet. Like, openly accept these motherfuckers. Saying, but like groups and everything. Yeah, like, but, like, would you rather know someone's racist or not? Absolutely. Right? Exactly. You know, it's like, yeah, because then you know how to handle yourself around that person. Like, yo, like, they can't catch you off guard. Right. Absolutely. I, I mean, my thing is, like, just because somebody, even if, if they don't like black people, I don't fucking deem them as being demonic and evil. This is what they don't fucking like, you know. Like, I think like like you said. Now I know how to act. I I feel like before, if the person has on a mask and they're trying to like hide something from me, then it's like you know I don't really know where you're coming from. Like I feel like I feel like you know we're gonna get caught in a situation where I'm gonna expect you to I'm 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 expecting you to like be there or I'm gonna be trusting you and it's just not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to meet my standard of where I thought you were. Whereas comparison to like if that mask is off, it's like okay now, I know who you are. I know who you are. I know like you ain't gonna have my back in this situation. You know, I know that you are this type of person, or you know our po- our our views are gonna clash in this certain area. We've had conversations about this literally yesterday. Where like you know, I've had certain friends that like I know where their views are. I know how their personality is. So I know like anything further than where we are, it's just it's just not gonna work out. Where I yeah. think like you know muting a person on the internet or muting somebody's opinions it like it causes people to kind of suppress that now you're in a relationship now you're married five ten years down the road and these true their true feelings and their true values are actually coming out after yeah. yo one thing too is like yo i would understand banning him if he was causing like real Mayhem. real da- <laughs> not nah, like real right. damage like to men right because obviously like i feel like i said more to women what or to women no i'm saying but like if he was like influencing men to the point where like it's becoming very like dangerous for yeah. women, I would understand that, right? Like, but I'm and I'm basing this only off the couple of hours of the content I watched. I'm like, from what I watched, he's kind of like promoting men to be bosses. He's promoting men to like be fit, be financially well off, and to take care of women. That's what I saw. I think prior to me watching that, I thought he, I thought he was just kind of a, like a real misogynist kind of guy, mm-hmm. like where he's like he thought women are just like he just hated women. Yeah, and that was not the case with the episodes I watched. Like he was kind of like, yo, you know, like you sh- you as a man, like you should be like head of household. Like yo, he was saying shit that I didn't really agree with. Like he was like saying like yo, yo, women should have to pay bills, all this yeah. other shit. I'm like he should be able to take like, care nah, of them, bro. Like what that. you mean? Like I want <laughs> I want my girl to pay bills. Like I'm not <laughs> yo, take on yo, this full responsibility saying, yo, myself. Yo, like, yo, he's talking about like complete traditional man like 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 back in the day type yeah. shit where the man handles everything everything I'm like, yep yep, yep. yo i'm not even that progressive yeah. you know what i'm saying i'm like nah bro like she gotta chip in a little bit like, <laughs> and he's yo i'm like so that was kind of like strange to me because i'm like i walked into his content thinking like all oh, right like this guy's just a dickhead like right. you know what i'm saying like he just hates women just kind of like another incel like you know promoting more incel right. like, but it's like it really wasn't the case like this guy was kind of like yo um he I think he definitely had an appreciation for women that I didn't think he was going to have. Like, and like he kind of, I think the main issue that women had with him is like the fact that he's kind of a little more um, traditional, right? Like he doesn't want his girl going out type shit. He yeah. doesn't want his girl going on vacation. And I feel like, yo, these new progressive women, they're out all they the time. They don't want to be told what to yo, do. Yo, and that's fine. Like, I feel like, yo, that's, and that's cool. If you're that type of woman, this is not your type of man. But but there are women out there that are like they don't want to be out by themselves. Right. Like, they only want to go out with their man. Like they yeah, want to be yeah. told what to do, right? And I feel like that's the man for them. Like I feel like, but you don't have to get rid of Andrew Tate like to um, accomplish to do that, these goals. Right. You feel me? Like I mean, I, all like I said, all it's really gonna do, or is it's just gonna force these guys into suppression. You know, like yeah, they're not gonna be able to really speak. People people aren't really gonna be able to speak how they really feel on openly anymore like it's gonna really suppress how people really feel and then the true selves are gonna come out years on their own and it's like whoa like you know you're not the person who i thought you were and it's yeah. like you know well, i've been here the entire time you know you just just, weren't listening. <laughs> yeah you just weren't just weren't piecing it together let's shift the conversation a bit though like how do you feel about the internet actually banning him like like the fact ask. that like he yo so he was they were able yo, to so, do that it's so i was just gonna get into that um <laughs> So it's really interesting to me, right? Because there's only been one other person that I've seen get banned off the internet, and that's Trump. Okay. But to me, it's like, all right, 
it makes sense to kind of ban Trump, not because he's Trump himself, but, but, but like, but it, because of his influence. Like, right. this is the president of the United States, right? Pretty much like one of the most famous people on earth. Right. So, like, if he says like negative things, which Trump did, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, to me, he did say certain things that kind of like influenced people in the wrong way, especially towards race. Mm hmm. It made sense to me, right? So it's like, yo, to say that <clears throat> Andrew Tate is on the same level of influence as the president of the United States is insane to me. Because it's like, he got banned as like a gaze to protect women, right? But right. in reality, the world doesn't give a fuck about women. No. So it's like, what do you? What did you really ban him for, right? Because so when I was watching this content, I, I definitely noticed that he has his own opinions on how like relationships work and how, you know, his views on like marriage and how, you know, a man should handle himself, how women should handle himself. But he also talked a lot about like politics, no, conspiracies and conspiracies not, and politics and, and, and like power yo, and, and like the yo, matrix the, and yo, all like of that shit. Detaching yourself right. from the matrix. And I think that's really what got him banned, bro. I think they didn't want him waking people up. Which it is, wasn't it wasn't the relationship shit that got him right. banned. I think it was like him talking about like, like being your own boss type of shit, like how money isn't real. Like that was that was very interesting. I didn't actually expect that kind of stuff. I thought he was just kind of like a straight up relationship. Yeah, guy. it's funny that you say that because like, I've I I'm pretty I've I've watched a couple YouTubers and like obviously we're on YouTuber we were on YouTube also, but like there was one YouTuber that was heavy into conspiracies and he would especially during the big C he would you know have content about that and YouTube ended up banning him because for misinformation right so yeah. obviously any information that's contrary to regular information is going to be considered misinformation which we could be, be we could be being told a lie and that could be actually the actual truth, but because it's different than know, what... We don't know shit. Right. We don't, we don't know shit at any time. Right? <laughs> exactly. But because it's different than the norm, you know, it's considered misinformation. So similar to, like, us right now, like, we've experienced it as well, where, like, you know, we've had... We've touched a certain topic that YouTube ended up flagging and... Yeah, pulling us. Right. Yeah. And we weren't able to, you know, have a certain conversation about a certain topic. So I feel like, you know, and it doesn't surprise me that these platforms are banning him i just feel like like you said it's funny that you said that because it actually does make sense that the reason why they're banning him may not actually have anything to do with women at all it just may be with the other side of the information i that think he's he was you know, i think he was tapping into more of a higher source of things you know and i think the people that are in charge like they don't want you know they don't want us waking up right? right they want us glued to our phones they want us going to work every day complaining on the internet and just you know what I'm saying that's it mm -hmm. And I think he was tapping into like a subconscious of us where it's like, yo, like, wait, what do you mean, bro? Like, I thought, <laughs> I, thought I came here for relationship advice. Like, like, what are you talking about? Like the Matrix? Like, and I feel Which like, is yo, crazy because he actually has a program for that shit. Like specifically for men yeah. to like get men out of like the rat race and out of the Matrix. Yeah. But like it's specifically to like he actually has a full fledged program to like break the fucking cycle you know break yeah. the break the chains break the like the the take the blindfolds off of guys you know i don't yo yeah i i got I, like i said bro i think it makes more sense that he got banned for trying to like wake people up you know what i'm saying into like the real reality instead of like the relationship shit yo because like think about it the people in charge are men yeah. right, right like the people that are really in charge are men right do you think they give a fuck about like relationship shit? No, no, right. But my thing is, is that why didn't they ban Kevin Samuels? He didn't because he stayed on relationship topic. Andrew mm -hmm. Tate really ventured out. Like Dude. he was talking like deep shit. Kevin Samuels' real like agenda was to fix like black Relation. black relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying like, I wish they don't give a fuck. <laughs> right? Andrew Tate was tapping into like a higher source type of shit. Yeah. I think that's really what triggered people. Think about it, bro. Like I said, like this wasn't just like one company, right? These are companies that compete against each other. These are companies that want. These are companies that control literally like ninety five percent. Yeah, but, yo, of the these, media but that we these are companies that want the other company to go bankrupt. Right. They got together to get rid of one man, right? And it's like, yo, you think they got they got rid of him just for relationship advice? Right. No, no, no. Yo, and like I said, if you honestly watch, yo, he talks about it in his final message. He's like, yo, if you 
He's like, yo, most of these clips are like designed to make me look like shit. He's like, if you go and watch my full content, like you're gonna see a different side of me. And I did. Yeah. Like I, yo, I told you, I wanted to hate him. I told you, like <laughs> some of the shit, I was like, you know what? I, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> like what? It's like, all right, like, yo, know? like I don't agree because. I I'm a, I'm a semi progressive guy. Like I'm like I think I'm a fifty fifty kind of guy. I'm saying like, so like some of his shit to me like, you know what? Here's the funny shit, right? Like, <laughs> okay. Do you want to talk? Do you, do you got anything else to tie in about this like um, conspiracy shit before I get into my next topic? Or? Yeah. Well, the only thing I was gonna tie in was like I said before. Um, like I said, these bigger companies control like ninety five percent of the media that we actually intake. So like, I feel like obviously kind of going back to like the whole media and news and like you know brainwashing and shit like that which i'm not even a big conspiracy theorist at all but like you know it would make sense for them to like kind of shut him down shut or shut anybody else that discuss these type of things yeah. down to kind of control the narrative or like or control us you know like if they push that a certain thing is bad and enough of them push it and we're seeing it on all platforms we're gonna believe it's bad, whereas if this guy it's brainwashed. Yeah. Yo, even if you watch three seconds of it, like it's just continuous brainwash. Cause you yeah, see exactly. it like you see it an hour later, you see it an hour later, and like yo, by the time like yo, yeah. But here's this guy comes and tells us that like it's a matrix or like you know we're living in a we're living like or we're we're being blindfolded and we're being pretty much brainwashed. Even if we don't believe it, three seconds of that make us question it. For three seconds, you th- you tend to think about yeah. it a little bit yo, more. You yo, know? Andrew Tate might be the real Neo. <laughs> <laughs> like he might be the real neil the he's real. like he's the real keanu reeves yeah. <laughs> you know i don't know but like which i don't know i don't even know what the real reason why donald trump got fucking banned but i really think that it seems like there seems to be a pattern about like why people get banned off the internet like and it has nothing to do with misogyny nothing yeah good point yo so like um so one thing that andrew tate said right which at first, I disagree with, right? Then I kind of really thought to myself, like, damn, I kind of, like, I see your point was, like, yo, was the vacation shit. Okay. He's like, yo, why are you as my woman, like, wanting to go on, like, um, vacation or if you're English, holidays? <laughs> right, right, right. You know, what's your girls, right? He's like, yo, I'm not allowing that. Mm-hmm. And it's funny, right? Because it makes me, I mean, because my girl goes on vacations with her right. friends, right? And to be honest with you, it bothers me. Really? It does bother me that my girl goes on vacation with her friends, right? Do you think it's the frequency or do you think it's just in general? I mean, she doesn't go that often. Okay. But, like, in general, because, like, what what is she doing out there? Like, what is, like, what is my girl doing in Miami? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, yo, and, and, but I, yo, when my girl tells me she's going on vacation, I don't give her a hard time. I just ask her, like, yo, what are the dates? And that's it. I just worked around it. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I let her go. I don't bitch about it when she's going. I don't bitch about it when she's coming back. But deep down inside, yo, there is an insecure part of me that's like, yo, did she do something out there? Like, did she talk to a guy? Did she like do? Did she cheat on me? Right. Right. And when he talked about that in that episode, it, like, it, it really of you. <laughs> resonated with me because it's right. like, yo, why are you doing this shit? Right. It's like, yo, but the, at the same time, like, I try not to be a hypocrite myself because, like, I go on vacations with like my boys. You know what I'm saying? Like. And we don't do anything. So right. It's just like, is that the same situation? I mean, yo, can, I, can I ask you something? Like, can you be honest with me? Yeah. You you met my girl a couple of times. Like, right. would you would you say you know my girl? No or nah? I wouldn't say. I I wouldn't say to I some know. degree. To to an extent, but I don't. I wouldn't nah, think see, I know obviously, obviously, you don't know my girl right. that right. But you know, like you've met my girl enough times, right? right. Like, we went camping together. We've been out, <laughs> right. right? Yeah, yeah. Yo. And he talked about like yo girls going to Miami, right? Yo, okay. So my girl went to Miami before. Yeah. What do you think the odds are that she cheated on me? I've never been to Miami. Miami. Don't I'm put me saying, in this situation. Nah, nah, give me an answer. <laughs> like, yo, like, give me, never yo, been to Miami. Parker, give me a percentage. Like, yo, what do you think the chances are that my girl cheated on me once she went to Miami? No, you knowing my girl as much as that's you know. crazy. I'm not gonna answer that. Nah, give me an answer, bro. <laughs> what me, I will say you is, think she, do you think she cheated on me? In Miami, when she I don't know. Like, I feel like it's really, it's a really hard, it's really hard to say. Like I said, I don't know that like, you know when you've been around enough person enough time enough, you could really gauge like their per day who they are. I've been mm. around your girl, but it's really like selective yeah, no, times. No, 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 you know, no, it's, like, it's not, it's not like I know her. Like we don't talk about like her her events that like happen or like her yeah. upbringing and shit like that. So like, 
No, nah, but yo, you've been around. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've been like around one of your boys' girls before, and she gave you major hope. Oh, absolutely. No, nah, 100%. Let's say, did, did, did you get that vibe from my girl? Like, no, nah, I don't really. I wouldn't say that your girl is like, like active. Okay. Like, out like, here just like <laughs> <laughs> taking trips and like fucking kids, <laughs> like just for the fuck of it. Yo, I'm telling you, bro, when I watched that episode with him, I'm like, damn, this shit, this shit fucked me up. Like, nah, yo. but what I will say is, bro, uh, what I will say, though, uh, what I will say is that. I tend to find that when women go on trips, they become a little, a lot more lenient with like the shit that they're willing to accept like, from men. From men, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what so, you're saying, bro. Like, yo, when women go on vacation with their friends, and it's a, it's a free for all, bro. There's no, there's no red lights, man. Like, and and every guy likes to think like, yo, not my girl. Right. And and it's and it's it, just it's a crazy thought because like you know. <laughs> Growing up, like, you know, I used to go on a lot of vacations and, like, you know, traveled a lot. Which I was fortunate enough to do that. So, like, I've seen, like, some stuff that, like, wouldn't, like, most, most, <laughs> I've seen women do some things that, like, their boyfriends at home would not be okay with, you know? Yeah. Like, it would just, and it's like, you know, as long as it doesn't, like, I, as long as it happens over here, I'm good with it. And then they go back to their boyfriends and be perfectly fine with like it. Nothing. Crazy thing is, I was actually watching, like, they had this thread. Of like, um, while she, why does she? I guess you've done on vacations or some shit. And like women, the amount of women that are saying like, oh, like I fucked another dude like in this city, and then had my man come pick me up like from the airport, or like I had, um, little did he know like this guy flew me up, but little did you know I was really out here to see somebody else, and I didn't give him no ass or some shit. Like, yo, wildest fucking thread. I wish I could find the shit again. Like it was. It, shit, shit it would that feed the hurts, it would that feed the hurts. fucking insecurities that you have about like women traveling like alone. And is is it a woman thing? I don't know. Like I don't know if it's specifically a woman, but seems I really like it. Huh? Seems like it. <laughs> it definitely does seem like there's there's a common trend here. Like women. I mean, yo, Andrew Tate might be onto something, man. Like yo, why? Uh, maybe your girl should not be out alone. Like like. I mean, she got to go with her aunts, man. She can't go with like she can't go with friends. Aunts be hoes. Yeah, I don't know. But honestly, I fucking filtered out. Maybe, uh, right? Now, nah, honestly, real shit. Like, I don't really give a fuck about my girl. Girl, I feel like my girl gonna suck dick. She gonna suck the shit in fuck in the city, and she gonna suck it out there. Like, it is. What I mean, it yo, is, but that's like know? yo, like that's like yo, but like, is this like something as a coping mechanism that we as like progressive men do to ourselves to kind of like better handle these situations? I think it's I mean, yo, like, I mean, like, like yo, the what, are you gonna, what are you gonna stress yourself out about it for? Like, I mean, yo, but like you could. St- Yo, you could be like one of these dudes, like right, like why aren't we like more like I guess Andrew Tate, like why are we like the Andrew Tate, like why are we just like yo, like nah, you're not doing this shit, like you're not okay, so you tell your girl no, like you 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 become woke today, you tell your girl no, you're not going on any trips, right? It's fucking arguing nonstop f- here on out because she's not gonna listen, she's gonna still go out and be like yo, this nigga's bugging, like I'm still going on my trips. Now you're gonna get upset because you're gonna feel like she's disrespecting you and she's not listening to what you gotta say. Now. When she's going out there, you're pissed off because you're thinking that she's fucking somebody else when she's out there. And then when she gets back, you guys are going to argue about the fact that she took the trip out of blatant disrespect for you. It just doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't. Yo, so you just got to take it out. You just got to take the L. You just got to take it. Like, I feel like you just got to. Yeah, but like, yo, why are we taking these out? We, we fucking, we tend to, to um settle a lot, you know? So, yo, we're like, so you, oh, do you think most men would like progressive women? Like, you know what I'm saying like these type of women that kind of like live their best life type shit are settling to a degree because like I I'm gonna be honest with you bro if I like I said I I let my girl do whatever she wants and like see, like deep down it does bother me to a degree because like I just seen how women move yeah like it's like I've never seen her give me that kind of vibe but right. I've seen so many women do that kind of shit and it always makes me think like yo why would mine be any different right? you know what I will say what I will say, if your girl does cheat on you, she will at least have the respect to not make you find out. My? That's what it, that's what I will say. Yeah, that's worse. I, no, I think I think I, think, God, I don't think I that's just, that. That just think, killed me, not, bro. The real th- real shit. Like some women are so loose with like. You think my girl's like just she's tight? Yeah, she's gonna hold the shit down. She's gonna make sure like if she does do some shit, she's gonna make sure like this shit is like it's just going to the grave. You just broke like, us up. 
<laughs> you just broke us up. That's what you just. You know, did. I just sat back and thought about it. Like, yo, I I know, like, I'd rather find out, yo. I'd rather uh, find out. Yo, honestly, I'd I wouldn't. I would. I would rather know. find out, yo. Bro, I wouldn't even want to know. Like, I would rather that. Like, if my girl's gonna be out here, like, don't, don't bring back no evidence. Don't you fucking don't don't come back smelling like latex. Like, delete yeah. all the messages. Like everything. Let me I, live this lie. Like, live it. Like, I don't want to. Don't give me a reason. Like, obviously, I have my way of thinking right yeah. don't solidify that for me like don't validate my my insecurities don't validate those thoughts that i'm having wow the fuck out like do whatever the fuck you want but just make sure you're smart about it protect me obviously because okay. like i don't want to like die and like catch some shit but then like just don't feed into it like you don't give me a reason to have to think about this shit you yo, know but then like yo you're, you're staying asleep yeah fuck it all right. That's, that's when you're the happiest. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck this shit. Yo, like, you want to be in the Matrix? Yeah, fuck this shit. Like, right, uh, you fucking like yeah, why? Like, yo, yo, why do you, know, yo, but yo, do you think some? Yo, I definitely have noticed a lot of. Sometimes yo, like when I see men hating Andrew Tate, a part of me is like, all right, did you, one, you probably didn't really watch his content like I originally did, right? right. Or you're just really pandering, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he's not saying shit that like as a man. That really goes against you. Like, yo, he's pretty, yo, Andrew Tate's pretty much just telling you, yo, boss up. No, what if it like, is a lot of men to dick ride women? That's what I'm of, saying. Like, they're out of fucking, out of the hopes of, like, getting pussy. Getting on their side. Not, Not even know. getting pussy. I don't even think it's getting pussy at this point. I really think it's just to be, like, on their side like they they have a real respect for like I, and we have respect for women it's not like we disrespect women and like yeah. we fucking beat them slap them up and shit like that or view them as any less but i feel like you know they have like a i don't know like this southern upbringing of like where they view women they like view women are like on this high pedestal whereas like i feel like our, me specifically like i tend to see look through the bullshit like you know like yes i think women are like fucking beautiful their goddesses and all this shit but like i got some fucked up ass ways you know like For sure. some fucked up ass ideologies and some fucked up ass mentalities that don't really coincide with what i got when what i want what i want in life you know so like i'm gonna call that shit out so i think like some guys just just are those are the ones fucking living in the matrix those are the guys that are like blinded by what is happening and don't want to like actually like you know be woken up because like they're so caught up in it that like anything that like people like him or Kevin Samuel will say triggers them as well, just like how it would trigger the women, you know. Like, and some guys just agree out of hopes of just fucking, like you said, getting some pussy, you know. Like, That's why a lot of men do it, yo. Yeah, yo, you know, um, to, um, before we wrap this up, to tie into like your point of like um them trying to like an attack on masculine energy, right? It makes it, um so along with like banning Andrew Tate would like. I, like I said, we just discussed that we think he got banned more for like his wokeness right. of the Matrix type shit than more of like his pro masculine um views. But yo, say it is just like they're banning him just because like how like pro male he is. It's kind of funny that like they'd ban him for that, but you can see so much content on the internet where it's like male bashing and there's and it's promoted. No, it's not, bro. Yo, it gets yo the more you. The more shit you talk about men on TikTok, the more views it gets. Like, yo, TikTok feeds, feeds off of it on like clowning men. You know what I'm saying like downing men. You feel me? Like he feed they like, it just feeds on that. People eat it up. You know as soon as is, you talk shit about a woman, right. you're just attacked in the comments. Not you know? only that, but and like, you could get like your content actually like deleted. Banned. Like you know, you like like I watch a video and it's like talking about. How many shit? I like it. It pushes it to you, right? Yeah. You like this shit, then it pushes it to you and like maybe one other person. So that shit just spreads like fucking wildfire amongst like the women. Like they see the I hate niggas comments or the I hate niggas videos, or I hate men videos, and they loving it and commenting like yes, girl, and niggas ain't shit and all this shit and all it's doing is just pushing it out, and no one gets upset about it. You know why? Men don't give a fuck. Like yeah, y'all hate us and we're just like whatever. all right, yeah, wh whatever. Yeah. But whereas for women, it's like, oh, you bashing women and blah, 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 blah. But, and, like, the com the videos instantly get shut down before it could even build any traction, you know? Like, yeah. that rarely says, that ever. That says a lot, yo. That says rarely a lot. Rarely ever do you see a video that says, like, women ain't shit and it has views. Like, yeah. And it yo, like, TikTok, yo, TikTok suppresses that kind right. of content. And it's like. I don't know, man. Like, you might, you might be on something here, That's bro. what I'm saying. Like, I really think that there's an agenda to, like feminize niggas like and feminizing like take away our masculinity make women more yo, masculine. Think about this right like yo 
like think about how many stuff how how much content TikTok mutes or bans, right? The king think, of fucking mutes. No, 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 no. Like think about how much yeah, think about how much like stuff that TikTok mm-hmm. mutes from men, right? right? From male creators. But you can see literal titties on TikTok. Literally. Like, that's insane to me. Literally. Like, yo, TikTok is blind to, like, nudity from women. TikTok is blind to women. <laughs> like, yeah. blind to them. Like, women be fucking throwing ass and, like, thin. Bro, I be seeing bitches fucking with, like, see through shirts. Yeah. Just standing up dancing. Like, breastfeeding videos, one thing, right? But, like, these chicks be having, like, full, sh- like, sheer v- shirts. Nipple rings pierced or nipples pierced, all of that, and like TikTok is just vibing. Like I don't see shit. Yeah, it's almost like it's almost like the security in the club. Like nigga, you good? Go ahead. Yeah, you like go, you good? You good? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guy, like, guy, male, male. Exactly. Hold on, hold on. Like nigga, you good? You straight? Like they they're okay with it. And I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like I really yo, believe yo, that. Yo, I think there's an attack on men. One hundred percent, bro. Uh, and I don't percent. know where it's coming from. Like because it's like it's women. Like, but yo, but it's like, but men are in charge. Yeah, men are in charge. So like, but, I don't. But men get easily. But men are in charge. But who has the real power? Women. Like women have the voice. You know, like nah, bro. I think men have the real power. Like yo, women have they, the real... yo, because like the owners of these companies are men. Men have the final stamp. Yeah. But the women to be in their ears, giving them the final stamp. It's almost like the fucking president. The president is a fucking nobody. Like he's just a puppet to like. All these big conglomerate companies and yeah. the fucking secret society and everybody, you know, pushing a certain agenda towards them. And I feel like that's men are or that's what women are to us. You know, like mm. women are in our ears telling us what we should believe and what we should think and um, what we should do to not only get them, but to progress in society. And we're just like, OK, let's stamp that shit. Let's let's progress. Let's move forward with it. You know, like, yeah. I don't know. I really think that. Women are the ones that are in the back and the back end and the behind the scenes. They're the real Illuminati's like they're trying the to <laughs> they're the real Illuminati's behind us, like fucking pushing for men to become more feminine and f- for them to actually take that, take that seat, which we're seeing it, you know, we're seeing more. I, I don't know how it is in your field, but I'm seeing more women being like in leadership roles and I mean, like, bro, I work with all like 80% women. Right. <laughs> all, you know, all my bosses are women. Like, yeah. yo, like my, yeah, yo, all my bosses are women. Like, I don't have one male boss. Yeah, like, I only recently, like, I actually started to get, like, male bosses. But, like, before it was just all women. Like, oh, male- it should be. But then women are being suppressed by men and making 70 cents or 70% less or making 70 cents to every dollar that we're making, which I don't fucking see, which is a whole nother conversation. But, like, they, you know, they, they push the agenda that there is not enough. I feel like they want control at this point, like. They won't yeah, be happy yeah, until they're see, in I control. Mean, I can see why, yo. They've been suppressed for long enough. Like, I feel like they, they feel like now it's their turn. And I, I, get, I get why they would want to be in control. Why they want control. I don't know. I, don't know. Right. I, I feel like that that's going to drive us into a whole nother conversation. Alright. Uh, next week's episode. <laughs> yo. Yeah, I think uh, we're out of time on this one. Yeah, I think the main point is, yo, stay masculine, yo, stay strong, yo, don't give in, don't yo, don't it, don't treat women like shit, but yo, like, stay true to yourself as a man, like, yo, boss up, and don't judge people off five second clips. That's my message of the, this episode. How about you? My message is, women, just as just because a man is masculine does not mean that we hate you. Just because we want men to be. A masculine does not mean we want you to does not mean that we view you any less like i feel like you we can all live together and enjoy society together we don't have to be at each other's throats but. let's live within our truth yeah all right um, as always uh thank you for tuning in like subscribe comment yo we are so so close to thousand subscribers <laughs> yo if you're watching this and you made it to the end please drop a comment it means so much to us Please subscribe. Please share the episode. With all. Tell us what your thoughts on it. Yo, and even tell us like what future topics you guys want us to cover. Like, but well, we are almost at 1K, and that that's like one of our main, <laughs> like one, one of our main goals since we right. started this. So, yeah. Uh, please help us get to it. Thank you. See you next uh, episode. Peace. <laughs>